six game point streak for Couturier. He'll float this one deep into the Washington zone. Get after John Carlson. But back to Couturier behind the net. He was held. Penalty coming up. Delayed call against the Capitals. Here's Walker. Walker a shot. Batted away by. Moving to the middle of the ice. Surveying as he does. Deals to Atkinson. And now is the line. Power play is over. Here's Brink. Taking the shot gloved by Lindgren. He'll hang right on to it. Somewhere 25 that is trips or so. Maybe they maybe his dis decisions on Snively is in the lineup as well. There's a tip pass. McMichael moves it into the middle. Mantha back to McMichael with a shot and the save by Harrison. He makes the stop and then got whacked by Protus, and the Flyers didn't like that. Quickly check. Frost in there to try to keep it alive, and he has the puck. Cross back to Stahl for a shot. There was the play. Save rebound and Brink scores. Bobby Brink with a putback, and the Flyers take a one nothing lead early in the second. The five play. They win a puck battle in the corner, get it up top, and then quickly Stahl is able to get it to the net. It's not the hardest of shots, but because it was deflected on the way in, Charlie Lindgren not able to control the rebound, and Bobby Brink able to. Pounce on it as he came from around the net. You can see the the skill that he had. Assist Mark Slow out of McMichael. Morgan Frost. Talented pivot for the Capitals. Gets it to Matha, sends it back through. Protus sends it back in front all alone and a score for McMichael. Breakdown by the Flyers. And McMichael takes advantage and a quick response by the Capitals. Just 46 seconds later, it's 1-1. So look at McMichael here and Walker kind of drifts and heads to the wall, and Sealer thought the play was going behind the net, and he thought Pros was going to put it behind the net, and he was ready to jump on it. And when he did that, he left the front vacated, and McMichael had all the time in the world as Lawton not able to get back and stick check him. York and in. Skitters on the glass. Edmondson turns it over behind the net, out in front, connecting, battling, poking, jamming, and play is stopped. Lindgren able to hold his ground, so we'll take a look. A couple of whacks here for Konechny. Oh. Somehow Lindgren, it looks like he keeps it. The two best chances in the last little bit. Back to full strength hockey, here's Obey Bell in, Erson with the save. Each team now with three. Carlson, number 21, strong, strong, takes the shot and rings it off fire. Capitals team, 11 goals on the season. He's got three power play goals, which leads the Capitals. Right away, shooting it from the flank, a little screen in front by Tom Wilson. Now it's Carlson. They get to Oshi. They look dangerous on this power play. A post and Ovechkin full bore into a shot. They slide it through and Wilson scores. Harrison takes his mask off. He's upset with the referee, but it's a power play goal, something the Caps have had precious few of, and they lead this game 2-1. to one. The one-timer by Ovi that knocks the mask loose. And that pass gets through Travis Sanheim and Wilson all alone there on the back door. Wilson able to elevate, but that initial... The power play unit number one. They get the puck down low to connect. He centers it out. The shot and Lindgren robs Morgan Frost. And then this last play here, the feed by Konechny, the one-timer by Frost. It's Faraby. Faraby off the stick of Atkinson through center. Cam will pursue the puck. Faravari is there. They come together. A free Faraby wrap around. He scores! The fourth check. And Joel Farabee stuffs it home to tie the game at two. A good dump, and then a good job by Atkinson to get in here and get a body. And then you can see three orange sweaters around, and you win the puck when you got strength in numbers. But it all starts with a contact by Atkinson. Farabee in one fell swoop is able to grab that puck and get around the pad of Lindgren. We approach the nine-minute mark of this third period. The teams are just... 20 shot mark, 21 for the Caps, 20 for the Flyers. Ovechkin tips it in. 
And a race back. Wilson wins that race. Big long strides. Centers it out in front. It goes to Stroh who scores. They won the race to the puck. There's a broken stick on the ice. Strom scores and the Caps are ahead again. Here on the stretch play, he goes for a change and that dump in is perfectly in place for Tom Wilson to get there first. And then after that, bit of an unlucky play here. I mean, the broken stick on the shot and it goes right to Strom. I mean, this is not how the play should have been designed. I mean, he's probably looking to fire it there quickly. But because the stick was broke. Oh, she got it into the blue. It was knocked down by Erson. He gets it back. That's to the Sandine. The other way, and again, missed the net. Lost another good play. Got that puck to tip it. Tip it, turns, fires, score! Oh, and tip it from long range after some great work by Frost. And this game is tied at three. Watch the traffic in front. I think Sandheim screams Lindgren on this shot. Oh, yeah. Good movement by Sandheim to make sure that uh, five men are involved. Look, he's on the forecheck, forces the turnover, and then he gets to the net. And when he gets to the net, he provides a screen right through his leg. Lindgren not able to pick it up. Walker reaching for it. This Tippett, he's got it out in center. Tippett exploding it across the line. Tippett, the shot, save, rebound! Is at the side of the net. Brink trying to dig it free in the third. Back out to York. York to Sam, leans into it, blocked. Bounces back to him, eight seconds in the period. Couturier, center shot, save! Lindgren, he robs Konechny! Oh, Travis Konechny that close. They'll move the puck. Here's Paling ahead for Atkinson. The game on his stick. Save made by Lindgren. It's been pretty consistent. There he goes, swinging to the right wing. In on Lindgren. Couturier, no. Straight up, and he scores! Well, a little bit of a different method. Because Lindgren is a right catching goaltender, so that, that play would not work. And 0 for 2 this year, but so good in these. Slowly moves in. Scores! First player to beat Harrison in a shootout, and he beat him clean. I mean, you talk about hands. That shooter for the Flyers. That move to his backhand. Dyson forced it out for the Flyers. One for two. Cuts in, and the lunging save no by Lindgren. He was going for the poke check. Anytime you poke check to a player going to his forehand, you run the risk. If Forster just holds on to that. So now Strom. He's 0 for 7 in his career. In on goal! Save, Harrison! It stays tied at 1. And there's that patience that I'm talking. And it's tough when the lefty goes to the blocker side. Just really good. It's not Morgan Frost. Bobby Brink with his first NHL shootout attempt. Swings to the right wing. Cuts in and dinks it down and tucks it home! There's that risk you were talking about and Brink takes advantage. Flyers lead it 2-1. Check to the backhand because it's tough to get around that stick, but good awareness by Bobby Brink. And good hands to pull it quickly. And once he... As he cuts in, Anthony Manta digs and cannot score! Erson and the Flyers win the hockey game! Three shootouts for Erson, three wins for the Flyers. And they knock off the Capitals 4-3.